Λοιπόν, so. So, I guess it's recording right now. Okay, my name is, uh, hello, my name is uh, Pericles, and I'm an adjunct uh, faculty at the Naval Academy and I collaborate with uh, Dr. Maxorakis for informatics research. Today, I will uh, make a brief presentation a paper we published with the WACAS uh, Transactions and Computer Research and uh, with, the, with the title Overview of Taxonomy and Ontology Approaches for the Classification of uh, Blockchain Components. Uh, I begin by discussing the aim, uh, upshot, and let me, let me put this on view. Uh, let's see if I'm going to use full screen. Full screen. Let me see if I can scroll. Okay. So I begin by discussing the aim, upshot, and keywords of the presentation. I continue with discussing the parts of the paper. The, uh, the aim of the presentation is to discuss a recently published review of literature on classification of uh, blockchain components. The upshot is to review uh, the fundamental parts of the blockchain technology and get information on the techniques that the research community employs to classify complex blockchain components for better understanding. The, uh, the keywords. These are the keywords uh, such as blockchain, consensus protocol, stability, transactions, check and taxonomy, and ontology that we use to conduct our research, which uh, leads me uh, to the purpose of our research, which is to review taxonomy and ontology based classification of essential blockchain components such as uh, consensus algorithms, uh, transactions per second, and stability mechanisms as reported uh, in the literature. And uh, here I'll try to give a definition of blockchain. So what is blockchain? Uh, basically, as the slide reads, a blockchain is a centralized uh, ledger system made up of uh, digital files containing information about computer-based transactions. Uh, basically, what it says here is that a blockchain is a computer file for storing data, and that data which are contained within the blockchain are distributed or, let's say, duplicated across many computers. So this is what makes it, what makes this uh, technology decentralized. Blockchain relies on a peer-to-peer -peer, uh, network uh, technology. This is a network created whenever two or more computers are connected and share resources. A peer in the network is a node, and a node, of course, in this case, is a computer. All peers uh, compute equations. They validate uh, the blockchain transaction and can use consensus, that is, special algorithms, uh, to come to decisions about uh, transactions. When transaction data are stored in a block, a block is a list of uh, records uh, in an ordered form, let's say. A block is a list of records, yeah, uh, in an ordered form. As more transactions take place uh, in, in, in the infrastructure, uh, more blocks are generated and are chained uh, to each other using uh, cryptography. The process of adding blocks to a blockchain network is called a blockchain mining. And the nodes that perform these operations are called uh, miners. So whenever a new transaction is added to the network, it is verified and added to each peer's ledger. This uh, decentralized way of uh, recording transactions in the ledger is called distributed uh, ledger technology or distributed ledger, ledger system. A ledger is a digital uh, log for tracking transactions through the network. Each computer on the network has its copy of the blockchain, allowing users to verify transactions quickly and prevent fraud. Many books, papers, and blogs uh, exist about the real-world application of blockchain technologies. Here, I give a, here I'll be giving a handful of examples and uh, I toggle between uh, giving, you know, some uh, snapshots of uh, applications that use blockchain to provide a screenshot. That, uh, are, these are images that I have collected from uh, applications available on the internet, or, or I give the flowchart of uh, algorithms, you know, besides, you know, screenshots of uh, computer terminals. So here's uh, uh, the first one of the first applications of a blockchain is intended uh, for the gov for government operations. 
as in uh, identity verification and uh, certifying transactions for land use registry or, safe, or safekeeping of uh, medical records. There are, there are also applications in the finances, as in asset management, for instance, for settlement of securities and transactions. We have applications in business processes for the production of final goods or services intended for the market. We also have um, uh, applications of blockchain for supply chain transparency, as in ensuring provenance of uh, biomedical supplies. Uh, we have uh, also, you know, for military applications as in uh, cybersecurity, and we also use uh, blockchain for data integrity, as in uh, hashing. The um, uh, now uh, this slide talks about um, the different types of structure of blockchain, such as uh, public blockchain, which is a permissionless, a permissionless, excuse me, distributed ledger uh, type of infrastructure, such as such as Solana, which is focused on mostly on uh, financial uh, transactions. We also have a private blockchain which is a permission type of blockchain and it operates in private context. An example can be the Hyperledger by IBM, which is for the creation of um, uh, software and applications for, uh, in cases, for instance, it can be used for, the, uh, for tracking foodborne diseases and uh, food recall in grocery stores and stuff like that. And we also have a uh, hybrid uh, blockchains it was a combination of public and private blockchains, as in Ergo Enterprise uh, by Samsung, which is uh, like um, it's mostly blockchain for uh, helping to uh, to uh, to bridge, you know, blockchain and uh, uh, legacy programming uh, type of uh, uh, applications, uh, such as SQL database and stuff like that. We also we also have the consortium of federated blockchains which is a partnership between multiple organizations and uh, they share data which can be public or they can be uh, private and the ledger can be partially decentralized. Uh, an example of this is, uh, I think it's Voltron Contour, which is a blockchain for uh, managing uh, uh, documents, official documents and stuff like that. The um, consensus protocols uh, is one of uh, our main focus in this research, and it's a special case of uh, algorithms. Consensus protocols are part of the foundation of the blockchain technology. Basically, consensus uh, is a set of rules to guarantee that every new block that is added to the blockchain is the one and only version of the truth that is agreed upon uh, by all the nodes. So, uh, nodes, you know, uh, the mine, uh, mine data, and they create blocks but they have to come in a consensus. They have to have protocols that verify that this is a true block and it's, you know, and can be uh, decentralized, means it has duplicated copies of it throughout all the computers that, you know, participate in the network. The, um, the following slides uh, discuss, um, provide, you know, the basic points of the four different consensus protocols. And uh, the first is one of, uh, let's say, the most popular uh, protocols that are used by blockchains. And then I continue with three more protocols that, has been, that have been the focus of our review of literature for blockchain components. So the first one to mention is the proof of work algorithm or consensus. This is one of the most popular type of consensus protocols and it is an algorithm that selects a miner for the next block generation. The central idea behind it is to solve a complex mathematical puzzle and give you value the solution. The mathematical puzzle solution requires a lot of computational power. Does the node who solves the puzzle fits first gets to mine the next block? The concept, the concept of proof of work was first put forth in 1993 to combat uh, network spam emails and uh, denial of service attacks. For blockchain, according to bibliography, uh, was first utilized by Satoshi Nakamoto the alleged uh, inventor of Bitcoin. It was introduced as, uh, as a concept in, in 2008 to validate new blocks in the Bitcoin network. Uh, the following protocols are part of the focus, as I said. So this is the proof of stake protocol. Proof of stake solves the high computational cost and resource constraints of uh, proof of work. 
for creating a block and stops uh, unauthorized users from improving fraudulent, fraudulent transactions. In order to be selected for a random, in order to be selected at random as a miner of a block, nodes in a blockchain must prove possession of a certain quantity of digital currency, a process known as staking. Proof of stake was introduced in 2011 uh, at the Bitcoin Talk Forum, according to bibliography. Uh, the proof of authority uh, consensus protocol. This is mostly for this is mostly geared towards a private blockchain that uh, blockchains are the, that operate in a private context. In a permission blockchain, all nodes are pre-selected. This allows uh, using consensus types with the highest scalability and bandwidth. Proof of authority consensus is designed to provide high performance and full tolerance. And it selects participants to create a valid and validate blocks based on understanding and reputation of identification. It was first proposed in 2017 by the co founder of Ethereum and Parity Technologies, Gavin Wood. The next uh, protocol to mention is the proof of history, which ensures historical data are accurate and have not been tampered with as they are being recorded on blocks and are being recorded on ledgers. Participants have a timestamp timestamp activities, which facilitates the use of a proof of history uh, protocol. Proof of history uses a timeline of events to come to consensus on a blog in a decentralized network. The timestamps are subsequently incorporated into the blockchain itself. Proof of history makes blockchain lighter and faster by removing the reputation and scalability problems. In 2019, Solana was the first blockchain to, to incorporate these type of consensus um, according to, to literature. In this slide, again, this slide gives an overview of different cryptographic techniques that are employed to secure transactions and protect nodes, anonymity, and confidentiality. So we have techniques based on symmetric encryption. These are based on a third key uh, type of uh, activity. Uh, we have asymmetric uh, encryption, which are based on public and private key encryption. We have zero knowledge proofs, hash functions, Merkle root algorithms, and a nonce, and a nonce type of technique, right? Uh, programming languages, programming languages. So uh, different uh, blockchains, different infrastructure, they employ different, uh, different programming languages to accomplish uh, their task, to achieve their purpose. So, tool search are encoded in a combination of different, different programming languages. And I give a, a three examples here the Aptos uh, database codes tasks in the Rust based programming language Move. Solana employs Rust and TypeScript uh, or a combination of it. And Binance combines Go, TypeScript, and Solidity. These are, of course, these are always uh, blockchains that we mention uh, in our uh, paper and in this presentation. And uh, we just give it as an example. We don't have any other, uh, you know, uh, we don't have any, uh, any to declare about it. I mean, we don't have any uh, links or stuff like that. These are just uh, for, the, for showcasing the purpose of this uh, presentation. And um, this is about the layers. Um, uh, here we, ha we highlight layers. Uh, blockchains are built based on layers. And there exist uh, two different types of layers. We have architecture layers, which are for maintaining a functioning blockchain network. And we have layers uh, based on protocols for regulating the functioning of a blockchain network. So this type of uh, our layering uh, supports this, the, the architectural structure of a blockchain. And this uh, type of layering supports the um, the, the functionality it, it regulates the functionality of a of a, of a blockchain. Now, in in uh, between um, members of the blockchain and computer network uh, communities, there is a tendency to draw some parallels or to draw lines, corresponding lines uh, between uh, the layers of uh, of the protocols and uh, the TCP/IP. Uh, levels that uh, regulate the functioning of the networks, uh, let's say of the internet. So they try you know, to correspond that layer zero corresponds to, to the network layer of the TCP IP protocol and layer one to the internet and so forth. So I'm giving this as, uh, 
as, uh, as uh, extra information, let's say. Uh, now there's a, there are, there's a there are, there are a bunch of um, there are a bunch of um, uh, uh, would call it a bunch of uh, essential uh, concepts uh, regarding um, uh, blockchain. Here I just uh, provide few, and I will be discussing those in, in, in the red box. So moving forward, I'll be discussing these uh, concepts, and I'll try to give. I hope these. Um, uh, Images are uh, legible on on the screen uh, because I'm trying to uh, to uh, discuss these concepts and also show how they show up on uh, on an application that are for the use uh, that uses that that it is that the application it is for the use of uh, uh, conducting blockchain transactions. So uh, so one of these uh, first concepts is uh, hash function. A hash function is a mathematical expression that creates a one-way relationship between input data and a unique output, ensuring data's integrity. Uh, timestamps, timestamps, over here, timestamp, uh, are used to record the date and a time of uh, blockchain events. Uh, and peer-to-peer, uh, -peer, we already discussed uh, the peer-to-peer -peer, uh, uh, concept or technology. Uh, here we also have information that on a peer-to-peer -peer basis, uh, a node uh, in a blockchain network acts also as a client and as a server. Uh, transaction. Transaction is um, the transmission of data across the distributed ledger. And uh, a transaction is recorded as a block of data here. And stability. Stability is another key concept in relation to blockchain technology. It is related. It is related to the proposition that transactions on the blockchain are rewarded with cryptocurrencies, will have the capacity and capability to ensure transit of cryptocurrencies. That means uh, millions, millions upon millions of transactions uh, happening at uh, at a glance. Uh, also, uh, TPS transactions per second refers to the number of transactions a network uh, can process, and decentralization refers to the ability of the ledger, as I also said at the beginning of the presentation, of, to exist uh, on different nodes interconnected in a network that operates on a peer-to-peer -peer basis. And we also mentioned taxonomy and ontology. A taxonomy is a hierarchy of inheritance. Ontology is a collection of concepts used in the domain and relations between these concepts. Uh, just to clarify, for this paper, we study um, we study the use of taxonomy and ontology techniques for the classification of blockchain components. However, taxonomy and ontology are also used uh, as uh, as conduits to integrate uh, uh, computer functionalities in the blockchain system. For example, an ontology, as it's here on the right of the screen, allows organizations to seamlessly integrate blockchain solutions into their existing legacy systems without any uh, you know, any perturbances in their operations. Taxonomy, on the other hand, helps to construct uh, complex blockchain into its uh, uh, building blocks. And this building block is uh, then hierarchically classified into uh, components and subcomponents. And this is the methodology for our review of literature. Uh, so we used uh, the Google Scholar database uh, to conduct our review of literature and having in mind that in case we have limited resources, limited access to other databases, what can we do if we can just use uh, the Google Scholar database? So based on our keywords that I mentioned earlier and based on our focus that I also mentioned earlier, uh, we conducted our queries, our Google uh, Scholar database queries, and we came up with 147 articles. Of these initial 147 articles, we excluded uh, 67 because some of them they were not part of the scope of the review. They were not original art. They were not original articles. So they were white papers or letters to editors and stuff like that. Or they were not between the defined uh, uh, time span that we had uh, for this uh, research. That was between the years of 2018 and. 2023. Then uh, we were left with 80 articles that we, of which we excluded 20, 
basically for the same uh, more or less reasons. They were not uh, Davis were not discussing the consensus protocols that we were not interested, or they were not discussing all uh, one of the three uh, consensus protocols that we are interested, you know, or any other parts of uh, or uh, review literature review focus such as TPS and st TPS, excuse me, and stability that brought us down to 60 selected articles, of which we included, excluded 46 uh, for not being part of the scope of this review, uh, or because they did not discuss uh, uh, taxonomy and ontology as uh, classification techniques for uh, the uh, classification of uh, blockchain components. And that left us with 14, with 14, excuse me, articles. This is a table that, um, this is a table that uh, discusses our um, uh, uh, 14 selected articles. And as you can see, the majority of these, and as I will say later, uh, are a review of literature uh, papers or, a com or research that draws comparison between uh, blockchain applications. And the majority of these uh, uh, studies uh, utilize taxonomy uh, as a classification technique of uh, blockchain components, and a couple of these they utilize uh, ontology as, as a classification technique again of uh, blockchain component, components and subcomponents. So, um, uh, more specifically, uh, 12 of these articles, as you already saw, uh, they discuss taxonomy to classify blockchain constituent parts, two articles only discuss ontology based modeling to classify blockchain uh, components. Eight articles are comprehensive reviews of literature. Three studies compare advantages and limitations, limitation of uh, proof-based consensus algorithms. Three research articles focus on taxonomy and ontology integrated in blockchain technology. Two studies discuss uh, all three uh, consensus protocols that we are interested in, such as history, authority, and stake uh, uh, protocols. Four studies mention blockchain stability as a probabilistic-based method and 10 studies mention transaction per second um, or TPS as a constraint to blockchain, uh, to blockchain capacity to, you know, uh, to uh, expanding as an infrastructure or uh, 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 processing more information and uh, mining more blocks. The, um, in discussion, we can say that we found that taxonomy is utilized to categorize distributed ledger concepts and uh, blockchain components. The intended use of taxonomy in these studies is to help practitioners and researchers alike understand the complexity of blockchain technology. And uh, the point is to facilitate vertical and lateral search of concepts from general to uh, specific and across components by uh, class and category. So we have a vertical uh, uh, type of um, uh, approach to, uh, to blockchain uh, concepts and components, let's say, and, and a lateral approach moving from, uh, from parts, let's say, or concepts on a lateral way, right? And um, ontology, uh, based on our uh, Results is utilized uh, to hierarchically and relationally represent blockchain components, and it is also used uh, as a base for classification of classification of each blockchain's constituent parts in order to facilitate management of the technology's complexity. Limitations of our study: uh, we find uh, limitations based on the choice of a single source uh, for article or for article selection, as I said. We just focus, uh, we just utilize the Google Scholar uh, database. And, um, but we also, for, for that reason, we had a uh, limited resources in mind. So it is uh, the best resource to access all of the articles and other resources available in the scientific community, providing the limitation. However, uh, we also think that the limitation to this study is the taxonomy and ontology. Uh, as a methodological approach for the study of blockchain components and uh, classification for that reason. And we also selected uh, to focus on blockchain components such as TPS, stability, ontology, and taxonomy, which also you know, narrowed down uh, the, the, uh, the number of articles that we could mine for a purpose. 
uh, research opportunity that we uh, potentially can uh, highlight. This study discovers that links between the blockchain components of consensus protocols, TPS, and stability are scanned in the reviewed articles. So there is an opportunity for in-depth investigation into the blockchain based on stability, for instance, or based on TPS and how and why stability and TPS can be uh, leveraged to uh, improve uh, blockchain operations, blockchain activities, blockchain transactions. In conclusion, uh, we think that uh, we understand that blockchain is, is a technology that disrupts both the academic world and the industry. And uh, this review and this review can potentially assist academics and industry professionals to comprehend the core ideas behind blockchain technology and begin to identify papers that address questions associated with each of its components. And here provide a limited, uh, uh, you know, uh, a limited uh, uh, supply, a limited, you know, glimpse to our uh, to our uh, references and bibliography for this uh, uh, presentation. Thank you.